This problem illustrates the concept of redundancy, which is used to increase the reliability of many systems. So for this particular problem, it's referring to alarm clocks. The principle of redundancy is used when system reliability is improved through redundant or backup components. Assume that a student's alarm clock has five has a 5.8% daily failure rate. Complete parts A through D below. So for part A, what is the probability that the student's alarm clock will not work on the morning of an important final exam? Well, over here we're given the percentage of daily failure. So the probability that's not going to work, you just have to change that into decimal four. So 5.8%, you would take the decimal, move it to the left two times. This is going to give us 0 0.058. This is the probability that if you had a one, one alarm clock, it will fail. Now for part B, it says, if a student has two such alarm clocks, what is the probability that they both fail on the morning of an important final exam? So now the student has two alarm clocks. We want to find out the probability that both of them are going to fail. So this is an extension of the multiplication rule. So we want to find out what's the probability that the first alarm clock is going to fail and also the second one is going to fail. Okay, so the probability of one of them failing. Just make this a better view. Okay, so probability that one of them is going to fail is 0 0.058. This is the probability that the first one is going to fail. Put this in parentheses. And then the probability that the second one is going to fail is also 0 0.058. So now the probability that they are both going to fail, I'm going to multiply these with each other. So 0 0.058 times 0 0.058. This gives us 0 0.003364. And now what is this telling us? To round to five decimal places. So let's round it to five decimal places. This gives us 0 0.00336. So we have 0 0.00336. Okay. So we can see that the probability decreases significantly if you have the probability of both alarm clocks decreases significantly if you just compare it to if you just had one. Now, what is the probability of not being awakened if the student uses three independent alarm clocks? Well, now if the student has three independent alarm clocks, so now we have three different trials. Probability the first one's gonna uh, fail, 0 0.058, times the probability the second one's gonna fail, 0 0.058, and then times the probability that the third one's gonna fail, which is also 0 0.058. Now if I multiply this out, Okay, this gives me 0 0.000195. Okay, so now this is also asking me to round to five decimal places. So this nine is the fifth decimal place. And if I take a look at the number to the right, that number is five or more. So I have to increase that nine by one. But now since I'm increasing the 9 by 1, that becomes 10, which means I have to increase this 1 by 1. So this gives me 0 0.0002. So I have 0 0.0002. And now the last problem it's asking, do the second and third alarm clocks result in greatly improved reliability? Okay, well, if you just had one alarm clock, the daily failure rate would be 5.8%. Now, if two alarm clocks, if I change that probability into a percentage, that would be 0.3%. Then if I had three alarm clocks, that would be 0.02%, okay? So 
The second and third alarm clocks, they do greatly improve the reliability. Okay, so yes, they do. Okay, so because total malfunction would not be impossible, so it's not impossible that all three of them don't work, but it is highly unlikely.